We're going to go through our assessments. Remember, if you are not improving, I need to know, okay? We're going to start with our feet hip width apart. Feet are hip width apart or shoulders back, chest up, chin up. All right, knees slightly bent, core tight, hands on the chair. We're going to close our eyes. All right, you're going to hold this position for 15 seconds. Ready? Eyes closed. Good. Close those eyes. If you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can lift your hands up just a bit off that chair. Stay close. Good. And three, two, one. And time. Very good. We're going to move our feet as close together as we can get them. Let's move those feet as close together as we can get them. Same verbal cues, all right? Our knees are slightly bent, core tight, shoulders back, head up, hands on the chair, and close your eyes. Holding this position for 15 seconds. If you'd like a little more of a challenge, you can raise those hands up about an inch or so off that chair. And three, two, one, and time. Now we're gonna stand on one foot, okay? So let's do this. Let's put the chair on the right side. We're gonna put the chair on your right side. So we'll face this way, all right? Chair on your right side or facing that way, okay? And what we're gonna do is I want you to shift your weight to your right foot. Your eyes are open. So look in front of you and identify a focal point, okay? You're going to shift your weight to your right foot, mm -hmm. bring the toes of your left foot into the air. There you go. Lift that foot off the ground. Okay. Time begins now. That's it. Core tight. Shoulders back. Good. If you're feeling confident and comfortable, you can lift that hand off that chair a little bit. Good, and three, two, one, and time. Very good. We're gonna do the same thing. This time we're gonna close our eyes, okay? Facing same direction. Let's shift our weight to our right foot. We're gonna bring that left heel into the air so my toes are still on the ground here. Toes are still on the ground, okay? <clears throat> close your eyes. Get your bearings. If this is really hard, you're swaying like a tree in the wind, I want you to stay right here. If you'd like a little more of a challenge, we're going to go ahead and bring that left foot up into the air just slightly. Time has begun. That's it. Very good. If you're getting really confident here, you can move to one to two fingers. In three, two, one, and time. Good. Excellent. Let's flip the chair to the other side, okay? Or we're just going to turn and face the other direction. All right, so we'll be facing that direction. Good. That's it. We're going to shift our weight. Shift your weight to your left foot. All right, shift your weight to your left foot. Eyes are open, so identify your focal point. Your knee slightly bent. All right, we're going to bring that right foot up into the air just slightly. We're going to hold this position for 15 seconds. Remember, eyes are open. Eyes are open. Good. Knees bent. Shoulders are back. Good. And five, four, three, two, one, and time. Excellent. Now we're going to close our eyes, okay? So you're going to shift your weight to your left foot. You're going to bring your heel of your right foot into the air. Just your heel only. Leave your toes on the ground. All right, try to, look, try to look straight ahead. Get your head up. Close your eyes. Get your bearings. Ready? If you'd like a little more of a challenge, let's lift that right foot into the air. Time has begun. That's it. Core tight, shoulders back. Be safe. Good. And three, two, one and time. Excellent. All right, guys, let's go ahead into our chairs. We're going to go ahead and sit down, have a seat. We'll be in our chairs. Good. All right, we're going to try to bring it all together here. It's a little chaotic. 
You know, I'm getting the full full brunt of Fort Myers and Naples and Bonita Springs traffic as I'm bringing kid to school, wife to work, picking them up, picking her up, taking her there. Got to get your nails done, nice and tall, <laughs> shoulders back. Here's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be. It's okay if you hold on to the chair, but we're just gonna start easy peasy, alternating those feet back and forth. Okay. Try not to allow your back to hit the back of the chair. All right. Pull your back away from that chair. That's it. Don't lean back. There you go. Good. Back and forth. Good. Back and forth. That's it. All right. You ready? Now we're going to up the ante here. We're going to go both feet at the same time. Here we go. Both feet up and down. Heating those legs up. When you come up, I want you to pull those toes back and squeeze those quadriceps. Up, toes back. There you go. Good. That's it. Up and down. Good. Here we go. Five, four. Try to bring them up together and down together. Three and two. Last one and one. Good, good. All right. We're going to stand. We're going to stand right in front of our chair. We're going to sit in slow motion. Remember, we have a lot of varying ability in class. So if this is really hard for you, as we go down, you don't have to go all the way to the chair, okay? If this is really tough for me, I'm gonna go down and I'm just gonna hold. The rest of the class can go down and sit, and as the class comes up and they get to the same height, I'm gonna join them and stand up, okay? There's a lot to be said for that isometric contraction. As you're holding, your muscles are working like crazy, okay? So first thing we're gonna do, legs or chair leg width apart. Chair leg width apart, good. We're going to stick our bottom out, stick your bottom out. We're going to sit down in slow motion. You ready? Four, coming down, three, two, nice, easy landing in one, right? We want to avoid the plop, okay? Nose over toes, we're coming up. That's it. And again, four, three, two, and one. Good, good. And we're up. That's it. And four, three, two, and one. Nice, easy landing. And up. And four, three, two, and one. Good, good, good. We're going to do one more. And four. Nice and easy. No plopping. Three, two, and one, and rest, all right? I want you moving your feet a little bit. We're gonna march. That's it, move your feet, get up and walk around if you'd like. There you go, all right. Now, we're gonna go off script here in just a second, and you guys are gonna absolutely love this one, and when I say love, I mean not like it all, all right? That's my favorite. I want to encourage you, if you have pain and really sore the next day, reach out to me. That always makes me smile. All right. I enjoy that. <laughs> so I've been going up to Fort Myers. We have an account up there and been working and teaching some classes. And I had a lady uh, before class, she came to me and she walked straight to me, made a beeline and it was all business. And I thought, oh boy, you know, every once in a while I do something unintentional, right? And I'm thinking this is one of those times. And she says, I want you to know I was sore for two days. I went, oh, that's perfect. And our whole demeanor changed. <laughs> uh, that's okay. And I said, absolutely. If you're sore for a day or two, that's fine. You're sore for three or four days, that's a little too much, right? So the reason you want to be sore is that that's how we know we've introduced enough stimulus, enough of a load to make a change to the muscle. All right. All right, guys, let's go ahead back into our chairs. All right, we're going to have a seat. Remember, we don't want that back against the chair. We want to have our back away from the chair. We're going to sit up nice and tall. All right, you ready? We're going to start alternating our legs up with one and then the other, back and forth. Good, nice and tall. Keep that core tight, shoulders back. There you go, good. <laughs> Extend them out, good. Now you want to control it, right? You don't want to throw your legs out there. You want to control it. Okay, back and forth. 
That's it. Sit nice and tall. Now we're going to up the ante again. We're going to go both legs at the same time. You ready? And we're up and down. Good. Up. That's it. Try to bring them up at the same time and down. And when I come up, I want to squeeze my leg muscles. Squeeze those quadriceps. Good. It's okay to hold on to the chair. If you don't have to, that's good too. If you need to, you can. Good. Up and down. We're going to do five more. And five and four, three, two, last one, and one, and rest. Good, good, good. Let's have you stand, kind of move about. <clears throat> good, good. Guys, check your mics. Guys, just make sure your mics are muted. If you have uh, your cursor, you can hover over your screen there, and it'll be in the bottom left-hand corner. Just double-check there. Okie doke. Feet are chair leg width apart. We're going to sit in slow motion, okay? So we want to be in front of our chairs there. Nice and tall, shoulders back, ready? Stick your bottom out, coming down really slow. Four, three, two, nice easy landing in one. That's it, and we're up. Drive on your heel, oops. And four, three, stick that bottom out, good, two, and one, good, and we're up. And four, three, two, and one, good, and we're up. And four, three, two, and one, that's it, we're gonna do two more, and we're up. All right, and four, three, two, and one, that's it, last one, we're up. And four, nice and slow, three, we're gonna hold it this time. Two, hold steady, right there, just hold, hold. That's it, feel those legs working. This is good, this is where what you want. Just remember that, this is what you're wanting. All right, ready, and relax, good, good, good. Stand, sit, guys, move your legs a bit, all right? I want that blood circulating. Back and forth. Listen, leg strength is gold. Leg strength is the key to your quality of life, to your independence, and, and to your hobbies, right? Your socialization. you got to have that leg strength. When you start to lose that mobility, uh, things get a little serious, right? Things start to change. Go ahead and grab your shot of water if you have it. Any questions? You know, I found a, uh, an unintended consequence of putting my hair back like this. My hair's so thick that it doesn't always tuck behind my ears. So when I look down, it's constantly falling. I'm constantly pushing it. So I thought one day, is my hair long enough to put it in a ponytail? And I used to just wear it like this around the house. And then at work, I started working with the soccer kids a little more, doing different things. Well, always, without fail... I never could leave the soccer field at night without parents asking me questions about this or that or my child needs this fitness thing or what can I do for my child's strength or are they too young and old. I got out of the park last Tuesday 10 minutes after practice. It's a record. And then the next, the next day, somebody came up to me and said, I thought that was you. I didn't recognize you. So I was like, oh, I'm incognito. So I'm going to have to find different ways to wear my hair. <laughs> Cut it. Yeah, that's un. <laughs> but find different ways to wear my hair so I can get in and out of there unseen. All right, good. Any questions? <laughs> All right, here we go. We're going to go into a uh, off script exercise. So let me have you come behind your chair. We're going to come behind our chairs. I want that chair on the right side, okay? Let's, we're going to step forward nice and tall. Now, from this position, we're going to go straight down. So what that means is you have to stick your bottom out. You're going to go straight down. Now, you're going to come up from here and step backwards, all right? So don't stop in the middle, and then you're going to go down, all right? Remember, stick your bottom out. 
We're going to come up. You're going to take that left foot and step forward. So what this means is that you're going to have to really pay attention to how far you step. If you find yourself really struggling to get from this position backwards, let me suggest shortening the distance between your feet, right? Because if you're really far out, you really don't have a whole lot of leverage here to step. You might have to take an extra step there. What I'm trying to get you to do is to use your leg like a pendulum. So you're going from one to the other. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Let me see. I noticed my feet are getting cut out of the screen there. All right, here we go. We're going to start our left foot. We're going to step forward and down. Stick your bottom out. Now we're going to come up and push back and step backwards and down. There you go. And up, bring that foot forward and down. Good. Up and backwards. Good. It's okay if your, your heel comes off the ground. That's it. Good. And forward. That's it. And backwards. Good. One more. And forward. That's it. And backwards. Well done and rest. Now we're going to turn and face the opposite direction. Okay, we're going to face the opposite direction. Good. Same thing here. Okay, we have the chair on our left side. It's with our right foot now. We're going to step forward. Okay, stick your bottom out. We're going to go straight down. You're going to come up and step backwards. Perfect. And down and step forwards. Now you want to drive on your heel, guys. That front foot, you want to drive on your heel and backwards. Now on my left foot, I want to drive through the floor with my heel. And four. Stick your bottom out and push on that heel. Good. So when I'm in this position, first movement I'm going to make is my bottom goes out and that shifts my weight to that heel. There you go. Good, one more time, and forward, bottom out, and down, there you go, and now backwards, and down, good, and rest, catch your breath, move your feet a little bit, all right, water if you have it, I'll give you about 10, 20 seconds here, and we're going to be right back in our chairs, okay? Very good. Any questions? Now, working on our posture. You feel your legs working, guys? All right, that's what we want. That's what we want. Working on our posture, what we're going to do is we're going to do a sit to stand with a shoulder swing, okay? There's a couple of ways we can do this, right? The hardest, most challenging way, my legs are chair leg width apart, my hands are in front of me, I'll come up and I'll open and close and down, all right? Now that's hard, so you know, especially after we've already done all the exercises we've done, your legs may be a little tired. What you can do is keep your hands out in front of you. Instead of sitting all the way down in the chair, you're just gonna hold right here. And as the class comes up, we'll open and close and then right back down, okay? So let's give it a shot, guys. Let me have everybody pick your, let's stand. Let's start, let's start from a standing position. My feet are chair leg width apart. My hands are in front of me, right? They're almost shoulder height. There you go. Turn your palms to the sky. Okay, we're gonna sit down, so stick that bottom out. All right, good. And we're up. Open, close, and down. Good. And up, and open, push back, close, and down. Good. Now you just want to let your bottom touch. Just touch that seat. Up, open, good, and close, and down. Stick your bottom out. 
There you go. That puts our weight on our heels. That's it. You're open and close. Good. And down. Just a little tap, a little love tap. Open and close. Last time and down. Keep those hands in. We're open. Close and rest. Good job. Feel that one? Yeah. <laughs> Look like synchronized swimming. It's funny because I'm teaching water aerobics and some of the movements we do, the heads are bobbing up and down. It looks like popcorn. <laughs> good. Very good, guys. That's a tough one right there. We have a lot of muscle involved. Okay. Uh, next thing I want to do, we're going to go behind our chairs. Let's put the chair on the right side. <laughs> You'll have your chair on your right side. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to take our hands up over our head. And I want you to touch your thumbs together if you can. And now if you have some shoulder pain, of course, stay away from the pain, right? This is not a no pain, no gain thing. So we've got our hands above our head. And just as we did before, we're going to take our left foot and step forward, but there's no bending down. Now from this position, I'm going to step backwards. All right, so all I'm doing is stepping forward and stepping backwards with my hands over my head. One and two, shift your weight. One, shift your weight and two, keep your core tight. Try not to allow your neck to jut forward. You may start to notice your neck is going forward. Good. <laughs> stepping forward and stepping backwards. Now I want you to straighten your arms if you can. Keep those arms extended. Push them back. Good. And backwards. That's it. We're going to do three more. One and two. One and two. Last time. One and two. And rest. Good. You feel those shoulders? So what happens now, that imitates real life, right? When we're in the kitchen and we're facing the cabinet and we have to step and reach, right? A lot of times people will lose their balance in, ca in certain cases. What we want to do is what we do in here needs to be able to translate into real life, okay? You may, may have noticed too with your hands over your head, your core activating, right? You feel your stomach, your abs having to work to keep your arms back behind your head. All right. If you did not, then that means you have some pretty good flexibility in your shoulders. Most people do not. They really have to work hard to keep their shoulders back, right? Good. Okay. We're going to be back in front of our chairs. All right. Back in front of your chairs. Now, I saw the look in everyone's eyes when we were doing these, and you're welcome. I saw the love and just the appreciation. <laughs> of this exercise and I just you know I don't want to take all the credit but you know if I don't do it who will right <laughs> all right arms out in front of us okay at shoulder height we're gonna sit so stick your bottom out and you don't have to go all the way down if you're getting a little fatigued that's okay that's a good thing just a little tap and we're up open push back push hard and close good good and we're down that's it. And you're up. Perfect. Open, push, and close. And three. And you're up. And we're open. Perfect. Close. And four. And you're up. And you're open. And close. Good. And five. Just a little tap there and up, open, close. Last one. Good. And up, open, and close. And rest. Great job. Feel those shoulders working, guys. That posture, it's really important, really important that we keep our posture healthy and good because it helps put our, our center of mass where it belongs, right? Why is that important? If I change, my posture is poor, it changes where my center of mass is located. 
That, therefore, is going to force other muscles to become overactive and do jobs that they were not designed to do, like my lower back. My lower back is having to work really hard to keep me from toppling over, okay? If I stand up nice and tall, I have the use of my abdominals here along with my lower back to keep me nice and tall, okay? All right. So we're going to go behind our chair now. It's going to be on the left side. Chair on the left side. All right. So we have our chair on the left side. It's going to be our right foot this time. That's just going to be stepping back and forth, okay? I want you to take your time. Don't get in a hurry, all right? I want you to be deliberate about your stepping. Okay, we're going to take our hands, we're going to bring them over our head. Our hands are over our head. We're going to touch our thumbs together. Good. Touch your thumbs, really extend them, push those arms back. And with my right foot, I'll step forward, shift my weight, and now I'm going to step backwards. Good. Shift your weight. So when you step forward, shift your weight to that front foot. There you go. And now step backwards and shift your weight to the, to the right foot when it's back. There you go, forward and back, good, and forward, that's it, perfect, and back, good, really keep, try to keep those thumbs together if you can, if you're experiencing some pain or your arms are getting tired, you can bring them down, good, let's do three more, try not to allow your head to jut forward, one, And two, last one, and three, and rest. Good job. All right, guys, have a seat. Go ahead and get in your chairs, catch your breath, grab some water. Good. Any questions, guys? Good. All right. No questions? Awesome. You guys have busy weekends planned? Anybody? No? <laughs> Staying out of trouble? Yeah, that's a good thing. All right, I suppose. The older you get, the more expensive trouble gets, right? Boy, I got in some big trouble one time about 17 years ago. Her name's Emily. Holy moly. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and stretch, guys. This is one of my favorite pillars. It's very important with as much sitting as we do. Um, you know, I always ask folks, what do you do? And they say, I'm retired. And then I say, oh, no, but what do you do? Most folks who are retired are busier now than they've ever been, All right. So I want to make sure that we keep our muscles flexible, all right? They need to be able to function through the range of motion they were designed to move through. So the way we're going to do that, okay, if you plan on sitting today, I want my voice in your head saying, hey, you should stretch right now since you're sitting. Chris said in class today, if I sit, I should stretch. Let me show you what to do, all right? We're going to take our left leg in front of us. So scoot out maybe to the middle, maybe the edge of your chair there, guys. All right, we're going to take both hands and we're going to slide down that leg. Good. And hold steady. It's okay if your toe's pointing up or pointing down. You just don't want it pointing to the side. All right, you want it straight. That's it. Just hold and steady. Good. And five. Four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Okay, now we're going to rotate. Right leg out. We're going to take both hands and we're going to slide down that right leg just as we did with the left. Hold steady. <sighs> Good. It's okay if your knee's a little bent. The goal is to feel a pull in the back of your leg. Maybe you feel it in the back of the knee. Some of us may feel it in the back of the calf like I do. That just means that that area is the tightest in that synergy, that group of muscles there. And five, four, three, two, 
one and time, good. Now let's bring both legs together. All right, be careful, don't fall out of your chair. Okay, you, it's okay if your knees are slightly bent. We're gonna take both hands and we're gonna slide them down our legs and we're just gonna hold. That's it, good. Just to drive my point home, if you sit down today, you should stretch. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Come on up. That's it. Try to treat your balance like you would a foreign language or learning salsa or whatever the case may be. Treat it like that. If you do, then you're going to see big improvements, okay? And you're going to be able to avoid those nasty falls. All right. Good, let's get to the main event, okay? All right, I was so concerned we were starting so late that we zoomed right through class. So, good news, guys, this is the third time I've done this, and I got some extra stuff we can do. So don't fret, we won't finish early, too early. <laughs> right. We'll stand, yes ma'am. We'll stand, we're gonna come behind our chair, we're gonna put that chair on our right side, okay? Want that chair on our right side. All right, we're going to start pretty, pretty easy. We'll work to challenging. What I want you to do is find your focal point in front of you. You're going to pull your core in, your shoulders are back. We're just going to take that left leg and bring it up in front of us, thousand one, thousand two, and down. If you need the chair, use the chair. And we're up, keep those shoulders back and down. Now, if you can, try not to put that foot back on the ground. Coming up and down. If you need to, you can use your toes. Good. And up, hold, and down. That's it. Remember, keep that right knee bent. Up, keep your right knee slightly bent, and down. Three more. Good. There's six, seven, Last one, and eight. Demonstrate control, thousand one, and down. Perfect. All right, we'll turn and face the other direction or we're gonna put the chair on our left hip now. Chair on the left hip, okay. Same verbal cues, guys. Find your focal point, core tight, shoulders back. We're gonna shift our weight to our left foot. We'll bring the right, right leg up, thousand one. 1,002, and we're down. Perfect. And two, good. And down. Great job on line three. And down. Brendan, Martha, Michelle, well done. And we're up. And down. And up. Demonstrate control. That's it. And down. Looking strong, guys. And up. And down last time, and we're up, and we're down. Perfect, good. We're gonna keep the chair right where it's at, okay? We're gonna make this next exercise a little more challenging, okay? In order to do that, we're gonna take our hands as we've done before earlier today. We're gonna take our hands, we're gonna take your thumbs and hold your thumbs, touch your thumbs together over your head. Now, what we'll do is we're going to take that right leg and we're going to go out, thousand one, thousand two, and in. Now, if that's really hard, another challenging way to do that, but to maintain efficiency, use one arm, keep your one hand on the chair, and then you're able to keep that leg in the air. Okay, so when I go out, I'm going to hold it for a second. When I bring it back in, I want to try to keep it in the air, okay? If, I, if you need to, put your toes on the ground. That's okay. All right, you ready? You guys pick, take your choice. We're gonna go out, hold, and in. <laughs> We're out. That's pretty good. And in, great job. Try to keep your neck back. Good. Yeah, if you need the chair, that's fine. I want you to be efficient, okay? And in, we're gonna do two more. We're out. And in, last time, out, and in. Well done, rest. Right. That catches people off guard, 
right? That's a tough one that I think most folks, when they're doing it, they think, holy cow, you know, you've got so many muscles being activated. There's a lot going on. The brain is having to compute and get signals out to. So it's a really great exercise for us. Let's put the chair on the other side. Okay, now we have the chair on our right side. Same as before. This time it's our left leg that's going to go out and in, okay? So we're going to take our hands, right? Maybe you have two, maybe you have one. Thumbs touching overhead if you can do that, okay? We're going to shift our weight to our right leg, and we're going to go out and hold and in. You're going to hold that leg out there almost like you're going to trip somebody that's getting the last honey bun out of the pantry and in. Don't let them take it. That's yours. Good, and in. Out and hold, and in, good. And we're out, pause, and in, two more. We're out, and in, last time, out, and in. Great job, good, good. Yeah, let's take a second, guys. Let's grab some water if you have it. That one's worthy of a, of a short break. <laughs> good. Oops. Mm. I think fell a little. Huh. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Huh. How are we feeling? Good? All right, so let me show you what we'll do next. Okay, you guys still enjoy the last little bit of your break here. All right, I'll explain and then we'll, we'll do together. We're gonna stand on one foot, okay? We're gonna stand on our right foot. If that's really hard, uh, another challenging way to do this is to shift your weight, but keep your toes of your left foot on the ground, okay? Now, if that's even a little too much, right? You're just, you're fatigued. Guys, we really work, we've worked hard today. All right, if your muscles are fatigued, I want you to be smart, I want you to be safe, you can stay in a split stance, all right, if that's a little more comfortable. All right, so you have position one with the feet, position two, or position three, okay? What we're gonna be doing with our head is we're gonna be looking left and then looking right, okay? So everyone, I want you to find the position with your feet, and it's okay to change them. Maybe you start with your feet in a split stance and you realize, you know what, I can do a little more challenging uh, position, and then you change to the toes, or maybe you start at the toes and think, you know, that's a little too tough. Let me, let me put that foot down, okay? So pick your position with your feet, all right? You've got that chair on that right side. You've got your hand on that chair. Remember, keep that knee slightly bent, okay? You're on your right foot, looking straight ahead, Ready? And now we're going to slowly look left. Core tight. Pull that belly button in. Shoulders back. Get your bearings. And at your pace, I want you to look all the way to the right. Get your bearings. And then we'll go left. Then right. And left. And right. And rest. Well done. Let's flip that chair around. Great job. Okay, same thing here. Same thing. All right. Remember your, your positions for your feet, okay? You, you make the choice. Remember, we're better on one side than another, so it's okay if, you're, if you were in a split stance previously to go ahead and bring your toes in the air, all right? It's okay to do two different stances here. We're going to get our feet situated, so pick your position. We're going to shift our weight to that left foot, 
All right, looking straight ahead, we're going to look to the right. Look to the right. Hold, get your bearings, and then to the left. Nice and easy at your pace. At your pace. Get your bearings, and then back to the right. Keep that knee slightly bent. And left. And right, great job. And left, and rest, perfect. Great job, great job. Tough day, you guys have done very well. Not only do you look great, right, I always have the best looking classes. I don't know what it is. You know, again, like I'd say, I'd like to take all the credit, but you know, now, I'll give you guys some. Fine, I'll give you some. I'm sure some of you have shaved just for class, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to balance on one foot for 60 seconds, all right? So catch your breath. Grab your shot of water as you move behind your chair, all right? Get yourselves mentally prepared, mentally focused. We're going to have that chair on our left side. We're going to start with on our left side, okay? Deep breath, good, shoulders back, core tight, find your focal point, okay, find something good to look at and focus on. You ready? We're going to shift our weight to that left foot, time starts now, bring that right foot up in the air, there you go. Twenty seconds have passed. Thirty. Great job. Forty. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax. Good. All right. Let's flip it around. I'm going to flip it around. Okay. We're going to take a deep breath. <sighs> Clear your mind. Find your focal point. Shoulders back. Core tight. Head up. Looking at that point. You're going to shift your weight to your right foot, and time starts now. Left foot in the air. Good. Remember, bend your right knee slightly. <clears throat> 20 seconds have passed. Thirty. Forty. Good. Ten more seconds. Hang in there. You can do it. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great job, everyone. Well done. This is a good class today, right? A lot of tough stuff. If you can get through this, you can get through just about anything, okay? When you work this hard, the body has no choice but to change. Yes, ma'am. Remember, guys, remember mybalanceuniversity.com. A lot of great resources there for everyone. 
Uh, also, the second edition of Balance University is available. There's checklists. Remember, sources, resources and references are available there at My Balance University. You guys have a great weekend. Thank you for being patient today. Uh, and remember your homework. Look for your emails and make somebody smile, all right? Have a great weekend. Good job.